What's cracking, everybody? I hope you're all having a good morning, a good afternoon, or about to have a good night, depending on whatever time it is that you're watching this video. Don't forget to hit that like button, leave a comment down under, and hit that subscribe button as well. As you can see on the title and thumbnail, Sharks Apparel and Rat Tails is the topic for the day. Specifically, on uh, San Jose Sureños starting to embrace and rock the San Jose uh, Sharks gear. And why the homies had to stop rocking the rat tails that are now making the comeback for the northerners. So, as many or most of you may know, the beginning, the start of the presence of the double S in Northern California was, uh, it was different to say the least. You know, uh, back in the late 80s and early 90s, the double S would still rock uh, LA Dodger gear. Lakers gear, Raiders, Cowboys. Um, a lot of the Los Angeles style was either adopted or brought by the Southsiders that relocated up north from Southern California. And it was like that until the mid to late 90s, I want to say. Obviously, before that, I'm sure that there were other fellow Sureños that would, that would rock the, the shark gear. But uh, it was a very small portion. And I mean a very small portion. Because to keep it simple, it was frowned upon. San Jose Sharks uh, jerseys, jackets, and hats, and everything else that had to do with sharks, it was all seen as Norteño apparel. If a gang member was spotted wearing sharks, that was the equivalent to seeing a Sureño in LA Dodger gear. Most Sureños would steer away from wearing sharks apparel up until the mid to late 90s, I want to say. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, as this was information I was given. But, so, you know, uh, that was until a few members from a barrio on the west side of San Jose started to rock the Sharks apparel. And uh, obviously, you know, soon after, all the other Sureño hoods in San Jose, they followed. Um, whether they did it to go hunting, because as many of you know, each side had their tactics of wearing the opposition's colors to make the enemy comfortable enough to get close to them. Or if it was because they they just decided, you know, that they were they were proud to represent their city, you know, uh to represent Sanho and started, you know, wearing the sharks jerseys or the hats or whatever it may have been um to taunt the northerners. In which case it worked because I've heard of instances where the homies started getting the Sharks logo, the Shark fin, or a shark in general to represent the city. Um, and they would go to CYA or prison and uh, Norteños from other city, or other cities, I mean, would clown on San Jose Norteños saying things like, like, damn, look at that, you know, that Southsider shark is bigger than yours. You know, pumping them up to take flight and basically test where their heart was at. And, uh... Fast forward to present day, everybody represents the city proudly. Um, with the shark on their skin or their clothing, you know, from the SS to the NS to the Kripas and everybody in between, basically, you know, everybody rocks the shark's gear. Um, although I do, I do think that uh, nowadays it's more of a, it's not even a gang thing anymore to rock. You know, what I mean, the Sharks logo or things like that, because anybody rocks it now. It's just back in those days, you know, the kid games, you know, San Jose Sharks, it's up north. So everybody was like, oh, you know, you can't rock that because it's representing the north. And then, you know, once everybody got more in tune with, you know, what I mean, what's really going on and basically what time it really is, you know, we are from Northern California. You know, what I mean, the homies were just like, man, you know what? It is what it is. You know, I'm from Song and I'm going to represent that proudly. Now, for the second topic, let's talk about the rat tail. The west side tail, or whatever you want to call it. Um, and just, I guess I want to I wanna say, you know, I'm only speaking for San Jose when I say this. Because I don't know about the other cities. I have heard that, uh, that Modesto, you know, the, the northerners out there, they rocked the, the rat tails in the 90s too. 
So, you know, like I said, I'm only speaking for San Jose. But in San Jose, the rat tail, you know, the bald head or the slick back hair with the fade and, you know, had the little the patch of hair on the lower back of the of the uh, of the head with the little little ponytail, you know, that was that was the rat tail. That was a Sureño thing. You know, out, out in San Jose, the Northerners, they rocked the Mongols. You know, the the bald head with the patch on the top of the head with the with the long ponytail. Um, you know, or or even the I mean this isn't a Mongol, but I guess they considered it one. It was the one where you had the long hair with the shaved side of the head, you know, and with the ponytail. That was also considered a Mongol, so that's what the Northerners would wear. And um now that we got that understood, like I said, you know, the rat tail was a thing for the homies. That was until to be honest with you, this is what I heard, at least, you know. I'm not sure if this is entirely true or not, but it makes sense, honestly. It was a thing for the homies until the Norteños started calling the homies ratas and su ratas because of the hair. And, uh, you know, that's when, you know, the the homies, the bigger homies, whatever, they prohibited the, the double S, you know, to, to, to rock the, the, the rat tail, you know. But, you know, fast forward to present day, now... It's the Northerners that are starting to rock the rat tails, which is kind of funny to me because, you know, it's kind of ironic, but, you know, it's, I guess it's just the style nowadays, but, you know, I mean, not to say that in a bad way, you know what I mean? Anybody could rock whatever they want. I've even, I've seen homies that rock the Mongol now, like, not the actual, you know what I mean, the bald head with the patch on the top of the head and the ponytail, I haven't seen that, but I have seen the homies that get the fade on the side of the head with the with the uh, the long hair to the back, like going to a ponytail, basically. I've seen that. And, I mean, obviously the Northerners have always, you know what I mean? Well, the stigma was that the Northerners had the hair slicked back and the homies had the, the bald heads. But nowadays everybody has that Edgar haircut with the, you know what I mean? Even with the rat tail nowadays. That's what I'm saying. It's a little different nowadays. The styles, they're... Uh, They've changed throughout the years, but I have noticed that there are rappers like uh, what's that dude's name? Uh, he's from Stockton. He's a northerner. He's he's got some he's got some cool songs. I've heard a few of his music of, of his songs. I mean, uh, I can't pronounce his name, but it's like Acito or Acito or something like that, something along those lines. But I believe he has the rat tail. And somebody else that's a rapper, like a northern, I don't know what section he's from. He might even be from Modesto. Now that I remember that I'm thinking about it, I mean, but. Yeah, you know, uh, that's just a little bit of the history on San Jose, you know, the, the shark's gear and the, the rat tails, you know, and hey, you know, like I said, you know, I might be a little off with the dates because this was, you know, secondhand information. It's not something that I really, that I lived through when I was, you know what I mean? Out there, I wasn't, I didn't really see rat tails anymore. I, I did in the beginning, but not, not, not all crazy. Like, uh, you know, like how it is again, how it's starting up, but Hey, you know, if you got an input on it, let me know in the comments. You know what I mean? Let me know. Like, hey, fool, like, you know what I mean? If you're a northerner and you had a rat tail, let me know. Like, hey, fool, we had that too. You know what I mean? But, I mean, I doubt it because, you know what I mean? Like I said, the homies were getting called rats and stuff like that, you know? So, it would make sense, you know what I mean, why why uh, why uh that name came about. But, hey, you know, at the end of the day, it's all love for everybody. I ain't tripping off of none of that stuff no more. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? That's the San Jose history. That's what was given to me. So I was like, man, I might as well put it out there, you know? I thought it was honestly funny, too, because it's kid games, man. It's kid games, the fact that, you know what I mean? Everybody had their little their little disses and going back and forth with things with, you know, the, the, the ratas and the, you know what I mean? the All that dumb stuff, you know? But, uh, you know, that's, that's my spill. I'm just, you know... I'm just ranting at this point, but, uh, I mean, with that being said, you know, I want to say thank you to everybody who, who took their time to watch my video and take their time to watch my videos, all of them, you know, I appreciate everyone who likes and comments and helps push the channel, um, you know, stay tuned for what's in store, and, uh, with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one, and I'm out.